Hi, I'm Pierre-Luc Beaubien from Ozone Technologies. Ozone Technologies has been uh, providing engineering services for 15 years in the embedded vision space. We put together a framework called DeepView to assist customers to design a deep learning solution. So basically, it assists the developer from data set creation to uh, embedded target uh, deployment of neural networks. So this is the data set creator workspace. Um, the user can import samples uh, from folders. So it adds it to the data set. Um, we can inspect classifications for both training and <laughs> testing sets. Look more closely at the images. Define ROI regions in the images to be used by the training engine. And we can use as well data set augmentation features to enhance the uh, data set during training. So it applies randomly different operations to uh, those samples. So the training engine doesn't see twice the same, the same image. Whenever the data set is ready, we can move to the Grab Designer workspace. This one allows you to load pre-made templates. So we have a few supported templates. Um, I just loaded a squeeze net in there. So we have full access of each uh, layer configuration, all the different parameters. So we can, for example, activate or deactivate dropout for the layer, select the activation function, and so on. So in the case of traffic sign recognition, we used a much smaller network. Uh, the problem was not complex enough to, to use such a big network, so it's something more like that that we used. Um, the tool allows you as well to build from scratch using primitives. And we can then validate the network, it, which gives profiling information of the exec relative execution time of each layer, and it gives as well the memory usage uh, of the train network. Then we can train the network, so this workspace is very simple. We just need to hit train model. It trains using a TensorFlow backend on the host, and this screen will re update whenever um, whenever we after each epoch so it's good for monitoring the, the training performances whenever we have uh, training done we can move to the um, we can move to the validator workspace and inspect the uh, the results of the uh, of the test set so this view here is a confusion matrix we have all the expected layers on the left and the calculated inferred layers uh, labels on the top there. So ideally, this view shows a green diagonal. Um, the red ones are bad detections. So uh, the view allows to quickly investigate problems either with the data set or better understand uh, the, some issues that we might have with the network model. So if we double click on a category, in this case, we expected um, priority road and we got road closed. 20 samples were in this group, so we can view those uh, samples and analyze them. So we see that they are bad samples. So in this case, we would go back to the data set creator delete them from the, uh, from the data set and run validation again, and we would get the updated score for it. So we have advanced filtering as well to do advanced queries on the results and better in, in spec and understand the, the errors that we have on the training, on the testing set. So once it's done, we can deploy to the embedded target from the tool. 
Uh, we have a target manager that allows you to connect to an embedded board and deploy um, the train network to the embedded device. We used it for the show to develop that demo that's running there. So it's running on uh, NXP's IMX8 uh, platform there. So basically it does traffic sign recognition. Our software is called DView. It assists the user to design embedded um, and friends engines to run neural networks. And we provide as well an optimized version, an optimized inference engine running on embedded uh, GPUs supporting OpenCL. Thanks for watching. Visit us online at embeddedcv.com.